Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It's a three to the four to the zero to the four to the third root of 27th root of 64th root of 81. To the power of the square root of four to the power of the 24 minus the sum from n equals one to six of nth root of 81. And if you want to try this one, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. So where do we even start? Let's go from left to right. Let's start with this right here. This is a power tower. It's three to the four to the zero to the four to the three. A power tower like a to the b to the c, that is not the same thing as a to the b whole thing to the c. If you ever have a to the b whole thing to the c, you multiply the exponents. But in a power tower, which is a to the b to the c, you don't multiply the exponents. The correct way you handle this a to the b to the c is you do b to the c first and then do a to that power. So for example, three to the four to the zero to the four to the three, you would do the four to the three first, then zero to that, then four to that, then three to that. So this is the correct way to do power towers. You don't end up just multiplying. And let's evaluate this one. First, we're gonna focus on the four to the three and that'll give us 64. And then we do zero to the 64, which is zero. And then we do the four to the zero, which is one. And then three to the one is equal to three. So this whole thing is equal to three. And that means this whole thing is equal to three. Now we know that this is a cube root of 27. And cube root of 27 is equal to three. And that's because three times three times three is 27. So this whole thing is gonna change into three. Now we can do the cube root of 64. Cube root of 64 is equal to four. And that's because four times four times four is 64. So this whole thing will change into four. Now we get to do the fourth root of 81. This ends up being three because three times three times three times three is equal to 81. So the fourth root of 81 is gonna change into three. Now let's smush everything together and we have another power tower going on on this side. So we gotta evaluate this top part first. In order to do that, we have to find out the index of the root. And in order to do this, we have to figure out the sum. So we gotta figure out the sum from n equals one to six of n. What's well, a sum, so that means we're gonna add a bunch of stuff together. For the first term, we plug this one in for the n, that'll give us one. And then for the next term, we plug in the next number, which is two in for the n, which is two. And then we're gonna plug in the next number, which is three, and the next number, which is four, and then five. And then when we get to the top, after we plug it in, we're done. We stop when we get to this number. And then one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six is equal to 21. So this sum is equal to 21. And now we can do the whole parentheses, 24 minus 21 is three. So we have the cube root of 81. We can